Hi, my name is Lakiba Wallace. I'm a magazine editor for Living Day by Day, but most importantly, I'm a breast cancer survivor. Hey, congratulations. So my question is for Carlos and Kimmy. What organizations are you partnering with now to promote breast health? And will you showcase that on the show? Uh, so for me, um, the very first one that I reached out to, we started our own nonprofit, my husband and I. And so we wanted to be able to give back to some of the agencies that help. And we wanted it to be people of color. And so we did our research. And the first company is called Sisters Network Inc and it's an African-American company. They have different franchises in there. They don't have one in Huntsville yet, but they have different franchises and they focus on um, pre-screening, early detection, helping people pay for mammograms who can't afford them um, and that kind of thing. And then also the second one we're still kind of working with in regards to the young lady from A&M that's doing the research in regards to curing breast cancer. Um, and her foundation is still kind of, you know, working in great strides for that. Those are the two so far that I personally try to work with. Um, people have reached out every day, like, for one thing or another. And as far as my bandwidth will allow, I try to, you know, help on every level. And, and for us, we are, again, like, like Kimmy said, we're, we're talking to different organizations to make sure that they get the, the shine in terms of really spreading the, the message. One of the things I love about using the show to spread the story is if you watch last season's reunion, Kimmy talked about how it was a woman who worked at the hospital. You, I think, was it you or somebody? No, somebody tried to schedule a mammogram. Correct. It was a lady who went to the clinic to schedule her normal mammogram. And the front desk receptionist told her it would be like four months mm -hmm. before she could get in. And she was like, four months? It's a mammogram. And the lady said, well, there's a lady on a reality show who has breast cancer, and we just have been flooded. Mm -hmm. Literally That's flooded. Right. And it just so happened she watched the show. And so she said, I know, that's why I'm here. Like, <laughs> you know, I know that. And she put it like in social media. It was like a huge post that she actually posted mm -hmm. on social media. Um, and so that's kind of what we're here for. You know, like if the platform will afford us to flood your clinic with mammogram requests, then, you know, I'm, I'm here for it. The power of reality TV. <laughs>